remains of Evan Solomon and these folks, they're in here, so they're also subject to arrest. But they have the credentials to get let off the hook. Shame on you! 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 Hey everyone, it's JC here at Beyond Mystic. That's the scene uh, this morning on front on the front lawn of Parliament Hill. I don't have a good vantage point from the hotel room I'm at right now. Very difficult to get to that. I wanted to do this quick a live update with you guys. I have Janine by the phone here. We won't be seeing her video. And uh, our bandwidth is very, very uh, low this morning. There's a lot of people here in the live chat. Um, I guess on the hotel, also streaming everywhere, or there might be some other interference. Let me play that, that clip again there and see what's going down. So there's a couple of reporters, um, uh, social media reporters who were picked up earlier this morning, I could see, uh, including one in the hotel here who uh, just made it out um, <laughs> very quickly uh, and escaped the arrest there. So she's back in the hotel here. We just saw her a few minutes ago ending her own live stream. So welcome, everybody. This is a quick update. We are Saturday morning, of course, February 19. Janine, can you hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you. How how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Didn't sleep much last night. Uh, lots yeah. of noise around. And uh, it was funny because even how dire the situation looked last night when we spoke, there was still a big party on Parliament Hill, uh, people putting out fireworks and dancing. And so uh, yeah. it was still pretty loud uh, all through the night. But this yeah. morning, uh, what seems to be going on now, uh, if you looked at the uh, staging zones down here, I don't know if I can get to it with my laptop here. Uh, it, there's a lot more cops here than yesterday. And yep. uh, right now they are rushing and they seem to be uh, utilizing uh, more strong arm tactics than they were yesterday. Yep. Yesterday they were inching uh, one inch at a time uh, right down here in front of the uh, Chateau de Rie. Uh, but today they're all the way up uh, to Kent Street right now. As you can see from this picture here, let me see if I can zoom that in. They've removed all of the trucks already. They now occupy all of that area leading all the way up there to Parliament Hill. So the cops have gained a lot of ground. And what we're seeing this morning, they have these huge uh, troop carrier vehicles with speakers on them. And they're repeating the same message that they are, uh, that everybody in this area right now are essentially in a restricted area and they will be arrested if they do not vacate the premises. So this goes to the cordoned off area that was explained in the uh, Securities Act uh, just the other day. So now they are app apparently trying to enforce that here today. And you're seeing here the result of that. People are saying that they're standing and they're not going to be moving or to be intimidated. Now, in the last 20 minutes or so, uh, we've had reports that the police uh, have started very lightly, but still uh, they're threatening with the pepper spray and the tear gas. Yeah. So that is a new tactic today. And the uh, the tech teams are all out in front there, too, with their automatic weapons. And this gentleman reporting here was saying, why are they pointing weapons at us? Everybody here is unarmed and waving the flag. So yeah. they're trying to intimidate a lot. Now, on top of that, I can report that I've seen a few truckers of their own uh, volition leave uh, Wellington Street. Uh, they yeah. didn't want to be on camera, uh, but they're choosing at this point to... Um, to go back home and to be with their family here. They figured they've done enough and they're not willing to risk even more than they've already risked here, seeing as this uh, evocation of the Emergencies Act for now is in place and enforceable, even though yep. the debate in the House has been halted and we haven't had a vote. So this is the tricky situation. Janine, what did you hear in terms of what uh, Pat King was saying uh, before he was arrested and where perhaps these truckers are also regrouping? And while you uh, recount that, I'm going to keep this live stream here on the ground running so you guys can see what's happening. I think the last report from Pat King was that he was calling all the truckers to a safe zone by the airport in a big parking lot that they'd put aside and that they'd made a deal that the trucks would be allowed to go there without hassle. And uh, they could re uh, like convene when things settled down, they'd figure out what they were going to do. 
So he was calling them all over there or asking them if they wanted to leave, that they should leave then. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, that's interesting. And can you share with the audience also the reports that you had on this um, or the further reports after the, our live stream last night that a lot of people uh, were actually not being arrested? And I know you've posted quite a few videos on your Twitter to that effect. Can you explain yeah. that to the audience? Yeah. So uh, in particular, this one fellow described what happened, uh, a young guy. He got, he got driven 20 miles out and dropped off in the middle of nowhere and uh, didn't get, like they didn't um, book him. It wasn't official. And he said they were doing that to everybody. It was a catch and release. Mm -hmm. And then they were just taking him out of town and dropping him off. Of course, he had to figure out a way from there. Mm -hmm. Well, so, you know, yeah. thing, last night too, at the staging area just below here, I did a video showing those accordion buses and uh, so there was people who were being detained for like three or four hours outside in the cold. Eventually, they were moved into a bus. And I thought, oh, OK, finally, now they're going to be bringing them to a police station to be processed. Uh, but that bus stayed there all night. But somehow between our live stream, I missed it. Uh, but that bus was empty. So I don't know if they just let everybody go there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, or those guys stayed in that bus till two or three a.m. by the time I went to bed. So I don't I really don't know what happened there. But it very much looks like. Uh, yeah, the police are already using pepper spray. Yeah, uh, they did yesterday too. Apparently, that's what uh, Claudette LeBlanc is saying here. Let's see if we can bring that up on the screen. Uh, I do apologize today, uh, guys. Again, the bandwidth is very low, so it's hard to do all the uh, multimedia tasking here. Uh, as we yeah. do this uh, um, from the grounds here. Um, okay, Janine, can we um, maybe pull some cards here today? Yesterday. Uh, we thought that we might have some news coming out, some uh, light being shed on the situation. XLFI, of course, uh, put out um, an email, I believe, early this morning or last night about February 19th being a day of transformation or transmutation. Uh, so people can go check that out on his sub stack. But essentially, the emotions are running very high today. And there is it's basically the beginning of massive change. And from the beginning of the change, we don't see the end, if you go to read his Substack here. So uh, similarly to what we were saying last night, uh, it's very likely that in the five uh, years following today, we will have more change in our world than we have in the last 1,000 years. So can you pull some cards, Janine, to see what uh, perhaps the outcome or the energy behind today is? Let's take a pulse on the situation. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of tens, so it's absolutely the end of, I think, the actual, what, what they're calling sort of the occupation, which I wouldn't call it that. I would call it, you know, a freedom rally, okay? I feel like they're, uh, they're going to end it. We've got ends, 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 and we've got an end in strength, so we've got it in the strength card. So they're ending in strength. And not in, uh, even though people might be disappointed, I feel like they're going to end and there might even be an agreement go down by the end of today. Some kind of an agreement between uh, who's left of the truckers, maybe at that uh, place that they're, they're getting them all to um, go to. So they, by the airport or something, right. if that's the case, right, the ones that are left, they're going to make some kind of an agreement, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as things coming out, if things did come out or do come out today, like we were getting, that's a really big possibility. Yeah. I think it stays hidden till Monday. It's like funny it you said that because uh, Cliff in an email to me, I believe, and Joe uh, yesterday, he said that, yeah, for sure, the 19 is the day. Again, he is, he's convinced of the 19, but we might not see why that is the case for another three or four days afterwards. Uh, so yeah. you're, you're bang on the money on that one as well. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other reports? Can you explain uh, maybe that um, one of those boards and those reports that you saw on the website earlier this morning and how it relates to all of this? Can you can we share that uh, and watching the language here a little bit also? Oh, uh, yeah. So the uh, letter of the alphabet that we talk about sometimes mm -hmm. had put out a long time ago something about uh, Pluto. So Pluto, and of course, using a cartoon of the dog Pluto in, uh, what, what is that? I can't remember the cartoon that is where Pluto's 
the name of a dog. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. I'm going to see uh, if you can try to bring that up while you're talking. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. So Pluto is obviously a planet, as far as I know. And um, they're saying the return of Pluto. They're nodding to the return of Pluto on 2-22-22. Okay, so they mentioned the date and Pluto, and that's exactly what Julie was talking about. Although I think it's 2022, so 2 2022, that the actual return, yeah, there it is. So, uh, like, it's like they're nodding to astrology. Like, and I'm telling you, all along, yeah. uh, the White Hats, the Alliance, they follow astrology and they follow astrological dates and it's amazing because they're mentioning here that pluto hadn't returned since 1776 okay that's that's i believe what uh, julie was saying and it's yeah. all about astrological pluto well, of course they're making it funny because it's a calm mm -hmm. interesting also at the bottom of that the timestamp is 11 uh, 1106 and if you yeah. reverse that it comes out to nine one one <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Again. wow and they're saying it's independence day it's going to be independence day and a lot of people are uh like you know i i hate to put out dates but it is an interesting date and things have been happening in the background on these dates but i'm hoping something happens in the foreground for us all to see right uh janine are you in your pjs like me colin says <laughs> yeah you bet i am <laughs> a little bit early for janine folks uh, uh thank you so much janine for agreeing to come on at least an audio here to share this with us I'm, I, let me go back to this screen here because again uh they were rushing really really quick uh let me see if i can bring myself a little bit uh brighter here so this morning uh just behind me here uh so there they were staging um a lot of forces, and you could see, uh, by my count, maybe 300 uh, units, police units. So they're all in 50-person uh, uh, platoon units. There was quite a bit, and they rushed up uh, Parliament Hill there, all that street, Wellington, really, really quickly. They, they gained ground to the point where they got to the main stage almost instantaneously. Um, the people were just walking back there. But again, they are using a lot more aggressive force uh, and pushing people around than they were um, yesterday. So let me see if I can bring this uh, screen back up. There you go. Yeah, so now basically, if you look at this scene here, they've now evacuated Wellington Street and they've now entered the downtown core somewhere here where my finger is. They're just behind these buildings here. And uh, what the, this gentleman was saying here, I'm gonna see if I can give him credit to uh, that live stream. Hold on a second here. Let me bring up this uh, comment. Uh, what's this guy's name? You guys can go check him out. He's doing a great job, too. Can I bring this up? Uh, Freedom Convoy 2022. Okay. Newsly Canada Live. Can you guys see that on the screen? Uh, he's got 9,000 subscribers there. So go check him out. Uh, he's been doing excellent work here in the last couple of days um, filming all of this stuff. So anyways, they are now into the city core. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult maybe for police, but at the same time, they could be boxed in very, very quickly. And this is what the other reporter uh, in my uh, hotel was saying this morning. Uh, they're, they're afraid of being locked in and then it's all game over. So uh, pretty stressful there. And what this gentleman was saying also is that today, of course, uh, the mainstream media or the legacy media or what he's calling the lamestream media uh, are everywhere. They're on the grounds cameras, the label on it, uh, Evan Solomon is there, you see guy there too, and uh, they're getting a lot of hate from the people, they're like, where the hell were you for the last, uh, you know, couple of weeks, and now of course you're here today to show on camera all of these um, very mean looking police with the uh, military style equipment and rifles and the, uh, yep. the armored vehicles on Parliament Hill, so yep. what do you make of that too? What's the play here with the mainstream media? Because, again, there's a lot of people asking in the chat, hey, what's going on uh, Monday? This uh, emergency act might, in fact, be illegal and uh, not be enforceable by Monday. So are they trying to just optic out here, uh, mainstream Canadians, from coming to, to Parliament Hill with all of this fear tactic when, in fact, there's all of this um, catch and release going on? What's, what's the goal of the uh, mainstream media? again today let's try to pull some cards and see what uh, their tactic is today okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting because they're uh, agents of uh, the dark side we'll say 
yeah. um, that, that's the energy they want to portray. That's like what they're into. Do you know what I mean? They want to bring down the vibration and show everybody how big they are. Okay. So instead of showing everybody the joy and love and freedom and happiness that was going on, of course, we know that, uh, the bad guys don't like that energetically. Yeah. So, uh, but then I get an over overview card and oh, it's, it, it's the it's white house. The white. Okay. So they're allowing those mainstream media to continue to work in the way of the dark side, but they're overseeing it because they want to show you what the media is all about. So yeah. we've got like a lot of depth here. That's yeah. not always as it appears. And everything's got a twist to it. So it's not just the bad guys against the good guys. It's the good guys playing the bad guys to show their hand so we know who the bad guys are and what they're up to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, guys, do you have any questions for Janine? I know uh, these formats are a little bit more difficult when we're running from different locations like this. If you do, please put them in high caps here in the live chat. I'll see if we can bring them up. There's quite a few in, of you in here in the live chat. I think we're at 8,000 right now uh, between both channels. Um, can we maybe pull some cards, Janine, in the meantime, if I can pick up some questions here, but can we pull some uh, cards into maybe either later tonight or tomorrow? Again, if today is the big day of change and transformation, um, what what can the universe tell us here? What direction maybe are we going or what do we need to know to align with universal energies? Wow. Okay, I got the Wheel of Fortune. And so, yes, it is a really big shift. Like change, like like that thing that Cliff put up, doesn't just happen all in one day. Do you know what I mean? But the, the energy of it shifts and it's never going to be the same again after this. There's some huge spiritual thing going on because I'm also getting a spiritual card around it. I got the star as well. So we've got the universe looking in on us. I'm beginning to think the spirit world is largely connected to what we call off the water. Am I, am I uh, echoing? No, you're still good here. Janine, keep going. Okay. And I got the magician. So the wheel of fortune and the magician. I think we got a big glimpse here of uh, the real truth and uh, exposing some real bad actors by the end of the day here. A big mm. exposure in particular on somebody in particular, a man. I wonder if that's maybe Trudeau or things from his past like we got before. But yeah. it's going to be real dirty anyway. Well, Okay. Well, uh, we'll try to get that together uh, for the audience here as we move along uh, the day here and follow all of our feeds for you guys. Uh, somebody was asking, uh, Margaret, oh, here, okay, uh, so change or transformation here by Tzafa. You can find that on his um, Twitter, and that's his link to his Substack. So he's talking about these intensities of emotional values, how these uh, um, emotions often relate to body parts, organs, uh, like getting a gut punch or, uh, or having headaches or feeling tingly. So all of these senses are picked up by the uh, emotional reduction engine. And what he's saying is that 19th, uh, starting today, those values spiked really high and I think to the top of his scale uh, since the beginning of his running these uh, WebBot reports. So, and again, all of this is the, the attributes to this particular subset is all about trans transformation, transmutation, uh, mutation. So all of these words are coming up, transformed. And what he's saying is, starting today, nothing can stop the immense transformation that we have already started uh, and gone underway. So this, this is a very exciting time for humans. But at the same time, we're all feeling it through our vagus nerve system, uh, just being the, uh, the types of bodies that we are uh, occupying right now we're feeling it across the body and i know for myself too uh even last night trying to sleep here and feeling all of these energies uh, was absolutely difficult still okay so guys go check that out you can find him on uh, uh twitter and also on his telegram telegram as sci-fi world i believe is his handle and you can find cliff also on bitchute at bitchute.com forward slash cliff underscore high now on top of that there's somebody asking in the chat hey what happened to that lady uh, who got trampled uh, by horses. So there was reports last night that she was uh, dead. There were reports that she broke a rib. 
but we just saw her uh, apparently it was her here on the this live stream here maybe 30 minutes ago uh, still on her um, um, not a wheelchair but how do you call those uh, like scooter devices for people yeah. with uh, diminished mobility and everybody was cheering her on so she apparently here she is not dead and again uh, guys when we're reporting this live it's very difficult for us to um, to ascertain what is really not and Janine and I will always do our best to tell you uh, what is or is not confirmed as we are talking about these things okay there's another question in this uh, in the chat here uh, Angie Spitz is asking, uh, Janine, can you pull some cards to see if Trudeau will leave office or resign? Because in the last couple of days uh, in the House, during debates and during question periods, as never been seen before, he was getting heckled to the point where he just picked up like a kid and walked out <laughs> during question period. And so people were like just flabbergasted at what's going on here. So is he perhaps about to resign or removed or... What's his face here? Maybe let's let's pull in for the next month uh, to see what the cards would say here. Uh, I don't get he volunteers it. I get he actually. So yes, on they're getting rid of him, but they might do it a legal way. They might have to use uh, some kind of legal force to get him out of there because we've got the justice card. Mm. Okay. So I'm not sure how the things work, but it looks like they're going to oust him out. Mm -hmm. but not uh, not on his own. He he hangs in there right till the bitter end, till they make him go, it looks like. Okay. Well, constitutionally speaking, that'll be interesting to see what measures uh, could be put in place, but uh, some could argue that uh, uh, what's happening now on Parliament Hill and the, uh, and the suspension, not just Parliament Hill, but this, uh, what they call the Golden Triangle being locked down as a Nazi state right now is enough to uh, perhaps instigate some of these measures uh, in government, including maybe a no confidence or mass resignations of his party or maybe party members of the Liberal Party just crossing the aisle and giving the opposition uh, the majority in the House. We could see something as crazy as that on mass as well. So that'll be interesting. Uh, the next question is from Jill. She's asking, Janine, can you please read cards? We're getting reports that maybe some of these uh, police officers or Antifa or NATO uh, some of them, of course, were imported. The people I spoke to, I know um, they look and feel like Canadians. They're just not from Ottawa. They've been imported from everywhere around the country here, but they did, in fact, look like Canadian forces or Canadian troops from other jurisdictions. Now, the people in green with the, the bigger helmets, those guys I'm not sure about. Nobody's talking to them. They don't talk to anybody. Uh, so we don't know if they even have accents or not. So can you pull some cards to see if perhaps there's another group uh, mingling with our Canadian police officers. Uh, I get. I pulled two cards on the uh, green. The guys you just were talking about, where you weren't sure who they were, and they look out of right out of Canada. I wonder UN maybe mm -hmm. troops or pe people that would be from oh, anyway out of Canada. And then the other ones I do get. They pulled in all from all over Canada, and that's why they waited this long. They had to wait till they um, amassed that many, I guess. Um, and they're paying them a lot of money, extra money to do the thug. They're literally paid uh, thugs at this point because they're being paid extra. That's what I get. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Now let's pull in cards in this. You and I talked about it last night, but we didn't get to pull some cards. Uh, Tamara uh, was arrested. Um, I'm not sure I can bring up the clip here today, but the, the video clip of her arrests, to me, seemed a little bit contrived, like uh, all organized, yeah. and it, it kind of had a fake feel to it. It didn't have the emotional value of somebody who was being surprised uh, or arrested, and the cops didn't seem to be um, having to put any force into it. Also, it just like it looked like they were playing out a part here for the cameras. So w let's ask the cards. Where's Tamara today? What's going on? Have, first of all, have you heard from her? Have you seen any other tweets or any other comments that would suggest where she is? One. And two, let's pull some cards to see where she's up today and what can the universe tell us. Okay. I'm, this is going to sound crazy, but uh, she's definitely in on the movie part. Mm. She's in on the movie. Uh, she's connected to the movie end of this. So she knew and exactly when those guys were coming and it was all planned that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not saying she's working for the dark side, but a lot of people would frown upon that because she she knew she was going to get her. It was she already knew the whole. Like, remember, I'm thinking the uh, white hat 
Alliance put the idea of the whole trucker convoy in the, these guys' ear. I think the truckers don't necessarily know that. I don't think they do. Right. Uh, and I don't know if all of the organizers are in on that, but she looks like she's absolutely in the know and she knew she was going to be rounded up. And it's uh, it's a it's a mystery. I don't think she's literally being processed in any way here. I feel like she's hidden somewhere. Right. Okay. Um, Somebody's saying it's getting tense. JC, get to Zot's feed. So Zot is one of those individuals yesterday that was um, basically caught and released. So let me see here. Hold on. Let me see if I can change that YouTube feed for you guys while I'm here live doing this with you guys. Hold on. Zot, let me see. He might be a little bit closer to the action. Let me see. Zot. Is he live? Yes, he is. Okay, so this is a different feed from Zot. And again, he was released uh, yesterday. Let's see if we can bring this up. There you go. Hopefully, oh wait, I might have to pause the other one. It seems to be losing connection here. I might be asking too much from the bandwidth. Hold on, folks. Let's see if I can pause this one. If we can run this one a little bit faster. Let me refresh that. Or it might be his feed also. Yeah, because he, from what I can tell here, it's a little foggy. He's on Wellington Street here. So he's a little bit closer to the action uh, than the other one. So hold on. Let me see if we can close a few windows and get back to that for you guys. Hold on. Janine, is there anything else in the meantime you want to share um, with the audience? Well, let, let's ask about Pat King since okay. we're on the subject. So I looked at him before and he did not look dark side to me. Okay. Uh, but he didn't look like a perfect character in his life and whatever. But uh, he looked like he had his heart in the convoy and wasn't, uh, you know, like um, trying to mess with the truckers. He was actually for the truckers. And but let's have a look, because didn't he get rounded up last? If he did even I didn't even see that he got rounded up, but people are saying he did. That's what I understand. Also, he was one of the last ones to get arrested uh, after Tenero. You're right. Yeah, because he was even uh, recording the next day, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's pretty heartbroken about uh, things. I mean, he probably hasn't slept in days. I saw that he was recording like 24 hours at one point, it looked like. Yeah. Surrender. So, no, he's he's good. We got the king of swords. He's, he's uh, what he says is true. Okay, so we've got the seven. Yeah, it's unique. Uh, he's going to get let go in about two days. So he looks like he's more actually going through the process of being arrested. Then tomorrow was absolutely shady looking. I think she's a big part of the movie. Right. Uh, so, folks, I'm not sure if it's my feed or not. Um, I can't seem to run Zod's here. Or, he, uh, or he is seizing up here. Uh, there might be interference with the cell phones where he's located, and that's why his feed keeps jamming here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can bring that to the window from... Hold on just one second, guys. I'll be right back here. I just need to switch a few things. Hold on. Stay right there, Jenny. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm back. Let me see. Where I can you? hear you. Okay, Jenny, you're back too. Okay, good. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to reconfigure here and ask somebody else to bring another live stream from the window. So while they set that up, uh, the Zot feed at least, he seems to be, again, there's somewhere between these buildings here, uh, one block down, and that's why we can't see it. Now, um, 
I my woo, <laughs> my laptop is like boiling hot here on my knees, <laughs> trying to run all of this stuff together. This is not meant uh, for this video production here, guys. Okay, um, so I'm sorry about that. Let me see if I can bring it back up, anyways, even in in choppy format. Hold on. Um, Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Janine, uh, yeah. let, just take the mic for now, the floor for now, with uh, okay. whatever you like, and just let me try to set up another shared screen window. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. So, I like I was saying, I'm absolutely smudging and nonstop sending ravens to everybody in Ottawa and everybody uh, involved in this. Uh, it's It's tricky, though. Don't kid yourself. Uh, some people were thinking that that woman was um, an actor uh, that got um, plowed down by the horse. I didn't really get that when I looked, but I didn't get she was passed over either. And I actually get she's going to come out the better for her experience. Well, I don't know what that means. Maybe she'll get some support and help in her life because things were drawn attention to her situation. I don't know. But it, her outcome was really good. So don't uh, believe the hype. They're trying to hype up dreariness and bring down your vibe. Okay, they're trying. They're going to show you the worst of the worst, and they're even going to highlight particular situations to get your reaction. And those of us, this is for the sheeple, uh, those of us that are evolved and know what's going on, you d might not want to just feed on that all day because your vibe's going to go down. Okay, so be really careful because you're you're going to be manipulated here by the media. And they're doing it on purpose. So they're using the dark side to show you the darkest thing that could happen in Canada if we don't wake up. And we are awake, people watching videos like this. So we have to be careful with our energy that we don't get back, sucked into it. Second, guys. Janine, can you still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got Zot's feed here running in the background. And again, you could tell these are the green guys there with those big helmets. They've moved up again quite a bit. Um, I'm going to see where, are they almost, they seem to be past Kent Street, because that would be that light, maybe one block down. Let me see if I can bring the volume yeah. up here and if we can pick up what he's saying. Yeah. Can, you, can you hear that, Janine? Yeah, I can. Wow, I rode around on the sun a long time. They started all the way down to uh, the Arido Center, and they've, uh, they've come down here since yesterday. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Maya, France. Were you guys here earlier? When they came? Oh, you just got here? Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't here either. I heard people got like mustard gas or something. Great. Yeah. I heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't really see a couple of them guys with the gas masks on there. So I don't know if you can tell from the feed there, but just behind them, uh, there's a the mounted police also on horses. There's at least. Uh, from what I can tell, there are about 200 or 300 cops <laughs> down the street on Wellington yeah. behind these people here. So the people are definitely today still un outnumbered. Now, this morning at 9 a.m., when I started uh, filming some of this stuff, uh, the crowd on Parliament Hill looked like a typical Monday morning here because usually people arrive here around 11, mid, uh, mid noon. Uh, that's where the most uh, of the action uh, starts. But right now, you can tell just looking at the streets behind me, uh, there are no, um, like, the streets are empty. Like, this is never seen, even in regular times in Ottawa, like, the streets are not mm -hmm. this empty long during the protests. Yeah. Uh, so for sure, what the mainstream me media was doing to put out the fear here of being arrested and all this violence, that seems to have worked because right now, we're not seeing the regular uh, supporters here on call. Yeah. So um, anything else we want to discuss before we go for now? Let me see if I can scan for more questions. Janine, yeah. anything else you want to share? I got the devil for those guys in the green outfits. So they're absolutely not going to um, make any exceptions. Like they're the type you do not want to be messing with. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah, guys those are, guys are, are 
are not in from somewhere and they're paid thugs is basically what I'm getting here. Yeah. Yep. Man. So I'm just scanning the chat. I think we're good for now. So I'll keep, um, again, I'm running all of these feeds on another machine here to see what's going on and trying to keep everybody up to date. Uh, right now, it actually looks like I will be able to uh, walk around my hotel room because yesterday the cops weren't even letting us out of the hotel unless you snuck out uh, somehow uh, through the Rito Center. So it's a little bit, we're kind of like hostage here. And somebody was uh, joking uh, on Friday night that I'm, I'm in Hotel California, like a song you can check in, but you can't check out. So I think yeah. it's kind of funny. So I'll see if we can get out there today and get a fresh, uh, get some fresh air. But yeah. Things looks like they're escalating here. I Hopefully there's no violence here still. And judging by the side of, of the crowd, it seems to be manageable in that sense. So, um, well, my hearts are with everyone here watching the stream. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Janine, for taking some time this morning here before your first coffee <laughs> to join us this evening, <laughs> this morning for this live stream. Guys, we'll keep you posted. In the meantime, uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe uh, to here on Beyond Mystic for next uh, updates and also at Tarot by Janine and also sending agents. Anything else uh, before we go and sign off, Janine? Just going, looking at the... So the truckers feel defeated, okay? So send them energy. It's a five. It's going to be short-lived. Something's coming in the next day or two that uh, will raise everybody's spirits and uh, you'll see the real victory that actually happened here. So there's a victory hidden and the mainstream media, of course, well, aren't going to show it. They're going to show defeat. That's the whole idea. So be really careful. OK, what you're watching and how much you watch of the bad stuff. OK, because the whole idea is to bring down your vibe and it's really just to wake up the sleepers. We need uh, our, the awake people on a high energy and trust that this was not for naught. This is woke up the whole world with this. And because of this, the whole world's watching Canada and seeing what really uh, a communist country looks like that could be sneakily taken over by communism without anybody knowing. People are shocked at it. And that's that's exactly what we need right now. Yeah, exactly. Well said. Okay, folks, on that note, again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you a little bit later on today. Au revoir. Au revoir.